The name of the film is Braid 2018. The movie commences by featuring two girls, who are counting the drug packets in a room. They're reckoning how much money they'll get, because they work for a big drug mafia. One of them was named Tilda, and they have a fast friendship. After doing their work, they lay down to rest. Then they begin to make pictures, meanwhile, their door begins to knock. Because the police come, and because of this, they become quite nervous. They come out of the window to escape. Then they run from there. The next morning, they sit on a train to leave the city. So the police can't arrest them. Because of drug dealing, their name was at the top of the list of drug dealers. On the train, Tilda's friend goes to the washroom. She calls her boss and tells him that when they were working at night, we were attacked by the police and had to run. All of our luggage has been left there. That was almost $80,000. While she was on call, someone begins to knock at the door. Upon opening the door, there was the train conductor, who asks her for the ticket. As they caught the train in hurry, so she doesn't have the ticket. So she pulls the conductor inside and makes him silent. After getting off the train, when they were passing the road, the beggar sitting beside them abuses them and says that both of them are crazy and witches. Both get angry but they begin to think why is he calling us like this. Meanwhile, they receive their boss's call, who says you've only 48 hours for returning my money. The drug they've left in that room, and they've to pay $80,000 for that. For this purpose, they were going to their friend Daphne. She was quite rich and live alone in a big palace. They've also a good bond of friendship with her too. Were shown its evidence by showing their childhood story. When the three of them were little, they used to play a lot of games. They used to be quite happy with each other. One of their favorite game was named, Doctor, Doctor. There were three rules to play that game. The first was that everyone will play it with full attention. That he'll be lost in the game. Secondly, no one except for these three could play this game. The third rule was that no one will leave this game in the middle. Obviously, they'll stay there. Now, they can't go outside this house till the game ends. Later, Tilda goes inside the house after wearing a school uniform. Daphne was making food for her. After coming, Tilda calls her mom. Why she was calling her mom, there is a story behind it. When they were playing the doctor game in their childhood, Tilda was quite bored after playing that game again and again. And she asks to play another game, as they can't leave the game in between. So they've to play it unwillingly. Actually, the doctor game was like, one of them will become a doctor, and the other two will be mom and daughter. Daphne becomes the mom and Tilda's friend becomes the doctor. Now, Tilda doesn't like her role as the daughter, because she doesn't like to make Daphne her mom. During that time, they have an argument that turned into a fight. They play this game while sitting in a small house on a tree. Because of the fight, Daphne fell down and was faint. After going to the hospital, the doctors tell them that she has a deep injury in her head. Because of which there is a possibility that her brain can't function well, it means that she can lose her monot balance. Later, the story comes into the present. According to the game, Tilda was calling Daphne, Mom. We learn that because of an injury in her head, Daphne really loses her mental balance. Because she now begins to consider this childhood game as reality. This is the reason that she considers Tilda as her daughter. She makes food for her, although they met after a long time. But Daphne thinks that she just returned from the school. The rules of Daphne as a mother were quite strict. Upon noticing Tilda's lengthy nails, she angrily holds her hands and says how dirty your nails are, cut them immediately. When Tilda doesn't cut, she takes the scissor and begins to cut. Suddenly someone knocks at the door. Who was their friend who was playing the role of the doctor? She comes to their house as a doctor. Daphne tells her that my daughter has a cough. Please doctor check why isn't her cough getting well. On which the doctor checks her. While treating her, she hits her knee with a hammer. She feels great pain and she shouts loudly. Tilda and her friend were doing these strange acts, means they were compelled to play this game, because there was a reason behind it. Actually, there is a big locker at Daphne's house, that has a lot of money, millions of dollars almost. Because Daphne's mental balance isn't fine. She doesn't value the money also she doesn't need it. While Tilda and her friend have to arrange $80,000 in the next 48 hours. So both of them have come here to steal that locker. While playing a game with her, by acting like a doctor and a daughter. So Daphne can't doubt them. So after staying for a while, they'll complete their mission. After stealing the money, they could run. Daphne makes the meal for the doctor as well. Additionally, she ties Tilda to the dining table. So she can't run while leaving the meal like other children. Now, they were left with 41 hours. Daphne tells the doctor that she might be tired. You should sleep. Let's go I'll show you your room. At midnight, when Tilda's friend, the doctor was having rest. She wakes up from a sound. Someone rotates her door's lock. She thinks it might be Tilda so she comes out, but there was Daphne, not Tilda. She says, Doctor, I can't sleep alone, and I'm feeling afraid. I'll feel safe with you so I want to sleep here. 
she stays there while showing her a knife. The next morning, Tilda was checking her phone near the letter box. Her friend comes here and Tilda angrily tells her, hurry up, let's go from there. I don't want to stay here with crazy Daphne. I don't think we'll get any money from here. She might have deposited her money in the bank. Her friend tells her I don't think. I think we've to work more for breaking the lock. Maybe we'll get the money. At this point, they had 28 hours remaining. Now, Tilda's friend goes inside and begins to find the locker. During that time, Daphne comes out of a safe and attacks her, and bites her. From which she becomes afraid, and runs. She takes the keys of her car and comes out of the house. Tilda was out and she tells her that Daphne has crossed all the limits of madness. Let's go from her but before they can go. Daphne comes with a stick. After hitting their heads, she makes them faint. Now, we see a detective police officer, he prepares and goes out of the house. After getting into his car, he leaves for his work. He is assigned to work on the drug case of Tilda and her friend. Daphne tied up Tilda and her friend. Not from the ropes but from the hair braids. Hands, faces, and bodies were tied up by them. After being completely mad, Daphne was talking to them. Someone comes at the door. When Daphne goes to check, the detective was there. He tells her that your neighbors have complained, that the sound of a girl's screams is heard at midnight from your house. On which Daphne says I live alone in this house, maybe I screamed once or twice because of the terror. He comes to investigate and begins to check the luggage. There he finds a childhood picture of three of them. Seeing this, he tells her that I know both of them. Can you tell where both of them could be at this time? She says no, I don't know them. The detective knows two of them, when Daphne fell down in her childhood, this detective had investigated her in that case. He also knows about their past friendship. He asks her to rethink properly, and tell him where both of them could be found. He was doubtful that both of them are in this house. Daphne gets angry, and she says that both of them are disappeared. From his doubt turns into a reality that they're here. Suddenly a sound comes from upside, so he begins to go upside to check but Daphne stops him. Says that you can't check my house like that. Show me your license first, but as he doesn't have his license for now. So he begins to go from there. While going, he says if both of the girls are in this house, I'll surely come back with the license. Because they're missed and their name is at the top of the criminal's list. Hearing this, Daphne goes upside, and begins to lock all the doors. So she can save both of them from the police. They've made themselves released, so they begin to find the locker once again. Later, Daphne places the food on the table. She tells Tinda's friend I know, for which purpose you've come here. The task for you've come here, there are some riddles and some secret codes. By keeping them in your mind, you've to move forward in this palace. There is a place where my dolls are placed. Going ahead, you'll find a mirror. That will be speaking something, because something would have been written on it. When you'll break that precious thing, the numbers. The grave will be opened, and your purpose will be fulfilled. You'll get that. Tilda's friend doesn't get what is she speaking. Tilda takes her friend aside and says, this is a riddle which she is explaining with clues. That is a way to reach the safe. She is calling words to the locker codes, and grave to the locker. So begin to find the locker. She moves ahead by keeping the first riddle that is of dolls in her mind. Under the statue of the dolls, she finds a code. That indicates going to the hall. As she comes to the hall, she finds another code on the mirror. As she drags away the mirror, she finds the locker behind a painting. Later, after changing all these codes into the numbers, and puts them in the locker. That finally opens. It has a lot of money inside. After filling all the money into the bags, she comes to Tilda. She says I have got the money. We'll leave this place tonight. As it turned tonight, they take their lamps and go from there. They come on the road and ask for a lift. But no one stops their car for them. Then a fast speed car comes and hits Tilda's friend. In which none else but Daphne was, who again brings them back to her house. Now, she has tired both of them with chairs. Because of this all, Tilda's friend was quite sad. Daphne takes a knife and after putting a cut on her face, and makes a smiley face so she can see her smiling. The beggar was abusing both of them, comes to the police station and tells them. That I've seen both of the missing girls at the railway station. After oppressing them and distorting them, Daphne says now, if you want, then you can go after leaving this game. Along with this, she gives them the newspaper, where the news about their disappearance and high criminal ranking was published. Seeing which both of them were quite afraid and shocked. If they go out, they'll be arrested. Now, Daphne tells them to leave this place soon. That I'll not bear you here even for a while. Because my child is going to be born soon. She surprisingly asks, which baby, but you didn't get married yet. She says that I've kept this secret, actually, I was married. Hearing this, Tilda begins to laugh loudly. That who is that mad person to marry her? But her friend has an idea in her mind. She wakes up because she wanted to use her for her own benefit. 
She says Daphne if your child is going to be born, then you need surgery right now. For which she also agrees. They also make her lie down. For killing her on the excuse of the surgery. They've also taken all the apparatus of the surgery, and have also worn the suits of the surgeon, as they were going to attack her with weapons. Meanwhile, the detective comes and points his gun at them. After putting them aside, he asks them to sit. When he goes to them, Daphne gets up. She stabs a knife into the stomach of the detective. As soon as he fell down injured, they made his condition bad while kicking him with their legs. They wrapped his body in a cover and buried him underground. To remove the evidence, they throw his car into a pool. Later, three of them wear the same dress and sit at the table. They were quite happy and were enjoying their meal. The next morning, when Tilda's friend came out for work, she finds the detective there. His condition was quite bad and he was soaked in blood. He was looking quite scary, and he attacks Tilda's friend. She was quite afraid that we buried him in the ground. Then how did he come out? Then Tilda and Daphne also come there. Who tells them to come inside? Tilda's friend finds a ring from the letterbox, which they buried with the dead body of the detective. She digs his grave but she didn't get his dead body there. Seeing which she was quite afraid and worried. She comes inside the palace, and she finds an old dairy under the bed in which their drug case, and the death of the detective were already mentioned. Seeing this, she was shocked and then Daphne comes there. She tells her that whatever is happening here, is already mentioned in this dairy. Tilda's friend still can't understand anything about what is going on. Daphne asks her to see her arm. When she checks her arm, there were many marks of someone's bites. Daphne tells her that the marks you've on your arm, you've come here this much time. Then it reveals that not only Daphne, but Tilda and her friend's mental balance were also abnormal this much that we can call them mad. Whatever happens till now, is part of a game. The game that is kept on playing for years in this palace. While finding the locker, Tilda's friend bit her hand, was its first round. Then the game kept on going like that round. For that reason, she has a lot of marks on her hand. While digging the grave, Tilda's friend didn't get the body of the detective. Because there was no detective in reality. That was just their game's character in the minds of these three. There was no car of the detective, nor any train, no beggar, nor there was any train or palace. They were just the roles of their toys. These were all made by these mad girls. There was a full world of toys. They thought this reality into their mind. In reality, three of the girls are sitting in a tent made up of cloth. They thought everything in the tent, because according to them, the world outside is useless. Now, we see an old lady again who was Daphne. Just like before, Tilda comes back from school but they're quite old. It means they've spent their whole lives playing this foolish game. That will be ended with their death. 